Subtle body language signs that indicate psychological distress. Psychological distress refers to a state of emotional suffering that arises when a person struggles to meet the demands of real life. This condition requires special care and attention, as it can lead to frustration and ongoing suffering. These feelings often surface when someone feels overwhelmed. To assist someone in coping with psychological distress, it's important to recognize its signs. Here are some subtle body language cues that may indicate psychological distress. 1. Freeze response. More often than not, people tend to freeze in response to certain triggering situations. They may remain frozen in the midst of an ongoing situation that feels wrong or threatening. Similarly, when someone receives devastating news or hears about a crime, they may react by freezing. This response is a key sign that a person is experiencing deep psychological distress. 2. Repetitive behaviors. Repetitive behaviors can help people manage stress. Actions like foot bouncing or rocking back and forth provide a way to cope in various stressful situations. When something terrible occurs or bad news is received, both adults and children often display these back and forth movements. These behaviors reflect the sensitivity of the situation and offer a way to handle the stress. 3. Fetal Position Research suggests that overwhelming news activates the same area of the brain as if someone were physically kicked. As a result, hearing devastating news can cause a visceral reaction, like a punch to the gut, triggering fear. People often find themselves feeling vulnerable and curling into a fetal position after receiving bad news. 4. Interlaced fingers. This behavior is commonly observed when a person is upset or distressed. It involves subconsciously interlacing stiffened fingers, which suggests heightened awareness and increased tactile sensitivity. People often display this interlaced finger behavior when discussing sensitive topics or coping with certain traumas. 5. Sucked in lips. This behavior is commonly observed when people face disappointment or confront a large crowd such as during a public apology. The act of sucking in the lips is a strong indicator of distress. It naturally conveys a sense of helplessness and psychological strain. Over time, we become familiar with this behavior and learn to recognize its true meaning. Seven signs of a manipulative woman. One of the most painful experiences in a relationship is feeling manipulated. It's devastating to feel foolish, used, and emotionally exploited by someone you care about. To avoid finding yourself in a relationship where manipulation is the only thing keeping it going, it's crucial to either break free or recognize the signs of a manipulator. Here are seven signs of a manipulative woman. 1. Emotional outburst. Women are often sensitive and express their emotions openly, which is a natural part of how they communicate. However, a key sign of a manipulative woman is when she becomes emotional in the middle of an argument particularly when she feels she's losing. This tactic can quickly escalate the situation and lead to an unpleasant outcome. 2. Smooth talker. Some women may use smooth talking to subtly manipulate you for their own gain. They skillfully steer your emotions in their desired direction, leading you to do things you might not have intended. Their manipulation is so clever that you may end up believing it was what you wanted all along. 3. Denial. A manipulative woman excels at denial. When you confront her about her manipulative behavior, she will outright reject the accusation and shift to denying it. She may then play the emotional card, turning the focus from her manipulation to her emotional state. 4. Good at lying. Manipulative women are highly skilled at lying. They will lie about anything and everything without a second thought or any sense of shame. Their primary goal is to achieve their own objectives, and they are willing to do whatever it takes to get things done their way. 5. Being nice. One of the most common traits of a manipulative woman is her ability to be excessively charming when she wants something from you. She will use her charm and charisma to persuade you into doing things for her. Once the task is completed, however, she will revert to her usual self. 6. No financial support. In a relationship, it's crucial for both partners to contribute financially. While it's perfectly reasonable to ask for financial support from your partner, a manipulative woman will avoid offering any financial assistance. She does this because she sees the relationship as unstable and is using you for her own manipulative purposes. 7. 
playing the victim card. A key indicator of a manipulative woman is her constant use of the victim card. No one can be a victim all the time. There are moments when she can be at fault as well. During such times, she will employ the victim card to deflect blame and make you feel guilty about yourself. Reasons of spousal abuse in a marriage. When people get married, they typically anticipate a future filled with love and joy with their partner. They rarely consider the possibility of their marriage being unsuccessful or abusive. To prevent this, couples invest effort into making their marriage successful. Despite their best efforts, many marriages still fail, especially when abuse is involved. If you're curious about why this occurs, here are some reasons for spousal abuse in a marriage. 1. Trigger thoughts. In a violent relationship, arguments often trigger a series of damaging thoughts in the abuser towards their partner. During a typical marital dispute, the abuser may perceive the other person as being disrespectful, which they find intolerable. This perception drives them to feel compelled to act in order to avoid appearing weak. Once these thoughts take hold, the violence becomes inevitable and there is no turning back. 2. Inability to tolerate being hurt. It is challenging for anyone to be hurt by someone they love and have committed to. Nonetheless, living with a partner and facing daily stress and unpredictable difficulties will occasionally lead to hurt and disappointment. For abusers, however, they cannot tolerate feeling wronged. They respond to their own pain by inflicting pain on others, exhibiting abusive behavior as a result. 3. Growing up in an abusive family. Many abusers have experienced childhood trauma, and similarly, many victims of spousal abuse often come from families with toxic dynamics marked by psychological or physical abuse. As a result, both partners may unconsciously view spousal abuse in their marriage as normal, potentially even interpreting it as a form of closeness or affection. For lack of boundaries, people in abusive marriages often perceive their bond as unbreakable, but this connection is far from romantic. Instead, it represents a collapse of the boundaries essential for a healthy relationship. As a result, it becomes easier to both inflict and endure abuse, as neither partner feels a sense of separation from the other. 5. Lack of empathy. A common reason that allows perpetrators to commit violence against someone they share their life with is a lack of empathy. Surprisingly, abusers often recognize others' limitations and weaknesses clearly. However, they fail to understand that empathy involves an emotional component, which includes caring for and sharing in the feelings of others. 6. Substance abuse. Substance abuse is a frequent cause of abuse in relationships. The American Journal of Public Health has noted that these issues are interrelated, with perpetrators often pressuring their victims into using alcohol and drugs as well. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.